History Time. Weiße Stadt. In 1942, SS Chief Heinrich Himmler initiated Operation Reinhardt, Nazi Germany's final solution to the Jewish question. Three death camps were built and staffed under top secret orders. These camps, all in eastern Poland, were Belchek, Treblinka, and the most secret, Sobibor. Sobibor. It was here on October the 14th, 1943, that the biggest, most successful prisoner revolt in World War II took place. This is that story. So at this point, we had to wait at least eight minutes before the bus came, but it did come and here we go now. This country is beautiful, guys. Can you see the architecture? It's just beautiful, yeah? So here we are, me and my mom, we just got here. This is how the outside looks like. We're looking fly, we're looking pang, you know? So yeah, we walked in the state, was so cool. That's my mom with a jerk head. So you don't have to pay anything to visit this place. It's exactly, absolutely free. So they consider the post hanging, beating, starving, killing, shooting, among the punishments here. Yeah? Um, I think I want to say chemical spraying or acid spraying. Those were among the toughest punishments that people used to have while there. We started working with my mom, headed to the entrance of the gates and where the gates are. And we saw a map on the wall. So there's so many cell blocks that are no longer there, considering it was many, many, many years ago when this happened. So some parts of the land have just been marked because there were things there, but they are no longer there, you know? Yeah. So here, this place is where they used to put people there and then they shoot. I mean, just watch the movie Escape from Sobibor and then you can understand what this place is.
So this is practically where they used to store the bodies, uh, examine the bodies, uh, kill people, uh, like spray things on them. These are the rooms exactly where we're at. And at this point, me and my mom were starting to feel a bit scared because it's like inside, like underground. So we started like feeling like cold. It's not even a joke, but this place is scary. My mom was so done. My mom was like, let's go. May the souls that are here don't come and haunt us. Please don't haunt us. Please, souls. May God protect us. Anyhow, this place is so big, as I said, guys. It's just huge. And it's not nice huge because when you think about how many people suffered, uh, then you know that it's sad. Uh, so here we were looking at how big the field is as we were walking to the other parts of the place because again, it is so huge. They would have sold these lands like long, long time ago, you know? Because these things happened a long time ago, so the places where by the buildings are not there. This is the site of the first crematorium, and the building is not there. This is where I think the guards used to stand and look at people, and it's like really, really old. Mass murder of Sackenhausen concentration camp in 1936 to 1945. Imagine all those years. But as you can see, these are like the execution, uh, what they used to be doing, the beatings, how the doctors, all these things. I mean, it's so, so sad, guys. I know I I don't sound like it's sad, but it really is. If you watch the movie, you're going to cry. Crazy thing is these people had family kids, as you can see, they used to enjoy time uh, singing and dancing while also going out and like killing people, punishing people and other people's kids. <sighs> Yo, let me tell you.
Here in 1941, over 10,000 Soviet prisoners of war were murdered in an action for, uh, facility within the space of 10 weeks. Crazy, right? Look at all of them. And this is some of the pictures of the Soviet uh, people who were murdered. May their souls rest in peace. The burial ground for the victims. Did I mention that they used to take people's teeth, like gold teeth and pluck them and false teeth and like remove them? Crips. Remember, I said that uh, this happened a very long time ago. So a lot of these buildings are not there anymore and some are just being preserved just for history. But yeah, they're like very fragile. So this is a place I think whereby they used to do the cremation. <laughs> Guys, can you hear mom in the back? Oh my gosh, she's amazing. I just love her. Thank you, mommy, for taking me here. And every other place. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So uh, the cremation place and the killings and the gas chambers. And so this hut, I think it's where the prisoners were kept. So as I was reading, one of them said uh, that one of the people who survived said that there were all so many in the room and every time you'd hear some being picked and gunshots and how they'd be killed from the rooms and that was insane remember guys the movie is escape from sobibo and that's thanks to mom because i would not have known about this and this were the cells that some of the mobbing were sleeping on as you can see the bed and the table oh creepy it's giving me the creeps guys we have come to the end of the video. Make sure you do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Till later. Bye.